And as seems to always be the case, there are things that happened in the prior videos that might have confused you. Look, this is one of the things our interfaces are going to be different. Things are going to always look slightly different depending upon what we have done last. So opening up a new document, command N, command N, new whatever you're in. And always pay attention to this top little selector. I come to the web and I showed you this and I went, hey, look at all these cool things. Now, what are those? Explore, find out on your own. But where are the rest of my presets? Earlier, I had a bunch more. Where, where did they go? Scott, go help me. Look, look, look. Oh, look, view all presets. That's where they are. Okay. So you look at this and let's say, let's do uh, something for our desktop. There's the MacBook Pro settings. There's the iMac 27. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. If <coughs> sorry, if you see these on um, an iMac 27, or if you're on a 21.5, if you're on a 21.5 and nothing's here, your resolution is 1920 by 1080. Easy enough. Look, width, height, number of artboards. Real simple, right? We're in RGB because we're in web. So I'll open up something for the MacBook Pro and hit return or click create. I'm going to hit return so that opens up. And let's come back. I'm going to hit minus, pull this over. Don't like that tab there. I'm going to hit the letter F. Hit the letter F. <laughs> there we go. Move that into position. Let's come back and real quickly look at the align panel because you guys need to know that. <laughs> 